Well, let's talk about this this theorem. The theorem says The circulation of a vector field like F around the boundary C of an oriented surface S So you have the boundary, which is C of an oriented surface like S in the direction counterclockwise with respect to the surfaces in unit normal vector is defined this way. You have the integral over the boundary C F dot dr is the double integral of curl of f so not law cross f curl of f dot n d sigma ds over s just a quick note recall that If C is a curve in XY plane oriented counterclockwise, and R is the region. XY plane bounded by C, then the sigma is equal to dx dy as we did before, and the curl of F dot N is nothing but the curl of F dot K in the direction of z-axis, which from the Green's theorem, there was nothing but the partial derivative of n with respect to x minus partial derivative of n with respect to y. Now let us go over one example. The example says, Find the circulation of the field, which is given to you as x squared minus y and 4z and x squared around the curve C. In which the plane z equals to 2. Mix the cone z equals to square root of x squared plus y squared counterclockwise to 
So these are the information that we have. We are interested in finding the circulation. Let us take a look at the graph. Let's visualize what's going on here. So here we have our x-axis, y-axis, and z. So we have our cone. It cut it by z equals to 2. And here you have your surface. And C, the orientation is counterclockwise. Very well. So let us begin. We want to follow the formula. What do we need? We need to find N. We need to find D sigma or Ds and the curl of F. Let's find the curl of F first. As you remember, this is the determinant I, J, K, partial derivative with respect to X, Y, and Z. And the very first component, X squared minus Y, 4Z, and X squared. This guy is I, partial derivative with respect to Y, 0, minus partial derivative with respect to Z, 4, minus j, here you have partial derivative with respect to x, 2x, minus the partial derivative with respect to z, 0, plus k, partial derivative with respect to x, 0, minus the partial derivative with respect to y, negative 1, so we get 1, so here you have negative 4, and here you have negative 2x and 1, so this is the curl of f. Now let us move on and compute n. Well, to compute n, let us parameterize our cone. Parameterize the cone. So let us use the parameterization x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta and z is equal to r. Why is that? If you plug in r cosine theta, r sine theta, it must be equal to z, which is just r. And if you look at the shadow in xy plane, you're going to see it's easier to use the polar form. And since z is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, 2 is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, or x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, theta is in bounded between 0 and 2 pi, r is bounded between 0 and 2. Now for n itself. To compute n, we need to have the vector representation, which is given to us as r cosine theta, r sine theta, and r x y and the z and then we're going to find the cross product between partial derivative of r with respect to r and partial derivative of r with respect to theta divided by if you're using a unit vector divided by the magnitude of this vector so let us find this cross product here partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to, with respect to r, with respect to theta. So we're going to have i, j, and k. Okay. Partial derivative with respect to r is going to be cosine theta. Partial derivative with respect to r, sine theta. Partial derivative with respect to r, 1. Now partial derivative with respect to theta, negative r sine theta, partial derivative with respect to theta, r cosine theta, and zero. So this cross product is i. Here we have zero minus r cosine theta minus j, zero and r sine theta plus k. Here you get r cosine squared plus r sine squared So this cross product is negative r 
cosine theta, negative r sine theta. If you factor out r, this is going to be just one. So you get r back. Very well. So what is the magnitude? The magnitude is square root of, here you have r squared, cosine squared plus r squared, sine squared plus r squared. which is r times square root of 2. So n is equal to negative r cosine theta, negative r sine theta, and r divided by r times square root of 2. Well, you can cancel out r and r, and your n becomes cosine negative cosine theta, negative sine theta, and 1 divided by square root of 2. So let us go back to the integral itself, our double integral of nabla cross f or curl of f, which is negative 4, negative 2x, 1, dot n, so negative cosine theta, negative sine theta, and 1, divided by square root of 2, and ds is r square root of 2, dr d theta. So let's do the computation. And here you get double integral. The dot product between these two gives you 4 cosine theta and plus 2x. But x is r cosine theta times sine theta plus 1 r dr d theta. The rest is just pure computation. Note that your r is in between 0 to 2 and your angle is in between 0 to 2 pi. So just do the computation and the final answer is going to be equal to 4 pi.